Hi again. It's um, evening time. I have this NVIDIA GeForce GX 970 and it requires pseudo Pac-Man minus S NVIDIA. Stop. Now, I have been playing around. There is more about sort of more packages for NVIDIA. And you can scroll up. It's all about NVIDIA. In the end, it ends up 255. I thought let's give him some work because I was playing on other computers. Let him install NVIDIA beta number 32. So that's what, what he's done. In the meantime, if we do an INC minus B, we see that the NVIDIA, where are you? NVIDIA is loaded, driver NVIDIA, and uh, so we go back when minus remove these are my nvidia packages beta dkms the settings utils beta and nvme doesn't have anything to do, anything to do with uh, nvidia but gaming has right steam is already there and i thought let's uh, make some kind of video with nvidia in the back end and i made one for the Euro Truck Simulator on the Intel computer, so maybe we should do one, one on the Nvidia system, and see. Question is only how long before it boots up. <laughs> so installing Steam, we do it with Linux dash or minus meta dash. Steam and all the packages come in but of course how long can we wait for something to boot up right let's pause here hi guys welcome this is the nine year old or so machine that has a Nvidia GeForce GTX 970 I have installed the beta version, so pseudo pacman minus remove. I've normally this needs Nvidia, right? But I thought, hey, what the heck? We're playing with all these drivers, and Nvidia beta is something that's not downloadable; it's buildable. So AOR means it's a recipe, a package build, and you build it. So power, CPU, memory. It's all you, right? After, I don't know, a few minutes, half an hour, this thing is built and then you have your own NVIDIA beta version for this particular kernel, which is the Zen kernel at this point in time. I've been playing around with that well as well. And for the rest, uh, pseudo Pacman, Pacman minus R, NVIDIA, and then we go to the topic at hand that I want to discuss. On Telegram, We're talking about Nvidia at this point in time, and what we advise is Control Alt F, right? Learn your machine. That's why an Arclix, because you want to learn. There's no red button to press, and then everything is magically fixed. So learn about Nvidia, AMD, Intel. They have all their own pages, and there is more. There is Nvidia Optimus, which is here. And there was another prime bumblebee. Here they are to the side, right? Tips and tricks as well, maybe. And he's talking about, at this point in time, about DRM. To enable DRM, Direct Rendering Manager, kernel mode setting, at the NVIDIA DRM mode set equals one to the kernel parameter. Copy, kernel parameter. There are three ways to pass options to the kernel and thus control its behavior when building the kernel. We're not going to build when starting the kernel using command line parameters, usually through a bootloader or at runtime to this bootloader. Sounds like the best option. Press E when the window shows up and add them to the Linux line. So we can actually add boot in time. I always say that when I visit other distros, I press tab on E and look, take a look at the lines. So you can actually add this in the end here. To make the change persistent after reboot, so after this video I will check it out, right? Never done this before. 
But the thing is, where, right? Where do I put this? Edit the ETC default grub and append your kernel options between the quotes, blah, 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 there. What's this about? And that's what we do, right? We share the knowledge. And once you've seen it, you know it, and then there's no challenge anymore. So super, uh, yeah, super, and eh? so super shift enter is gonna open my system. Let's move in here, etc, and then the default. Remember the folder default grub. Mousepad, yeah. Right mouse click, open with, yeah. F2, set up pattern minus s sublime text by the way you see the result of which vga so that's a new alias we've introduced not publicly yet but here it is i have an in video geforce gta 970 and also information via glx info or nvidia smi so just an alias to quickly have an overview three checks to see what card is on my machine so grub i have my sublime text now no no <laughs> enter i have my sublime text now and now right mouse click open so here we have these lines what lines just go and have a look so it says command line linux default it says command line linux default quiet splash quiet splash we have some more things behind it so in here I have to put this. That's it. Okay, no, that's not it. We have to save it, of course, otherwise we've done nothing. That's an important part. And we open a terminal. What do we need to do? And automatically regenerate this thing. Now this thing, I forget that. So alias update grub. What does the alias update grub do? Compare the two lines. Exactly the same thing. So I update my grub. And there it goes. And that's it. Now I can reboot and see if anything is better or worse. I'll soon know. If something is worse, you go back in there, right? Get it out there. Well, delete again, same thing again. I'm going to keep it right, but same thing again and update drop. All right. Cheers.